Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. Welcome to another week of exercise with Exos. I hope you all are all ready for the workout I have planned for today. It's going to be a good one. Lots of legs today. So we're going to work on our leg strength a little bit. It's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to give a minute or two to let other, other people join in on the meeting since it's right at 12 today. But I hope everyone had a nice St. Patrick's Day yesterday. I didn't eat any corned beef and cabbage, which I normally do, but I like to say that I embody uh, the typical Irish person with my red hair and my green eyes. So, and my love for potatoes. It's a perfect combination. <laughs> All right. Well, it's 12.01, so hopefully people will start to trickle in here, but I don't want to waste too much time, so I'll go ahead and get started explaining our circuit today. So we are going to be doing 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest, um, but the rest period, we are going to be doing something. So technically, it's not rest. So we're going to do 40 seconds of the first exercise, 20 seconds of the second exercise, and we're going to go through that three times. We have six different um, combinations of movements. So you don't need any equipment today, but I do recommend um, if you have some wall space, that will be helpful. And if you have a couch or a chair nearby, that also will be helpful. But if you do not, you can also use the wall for that as well. So getting started with our first two movements here. So we're going to start off with some wall sits. So if you have a wall, you're going to be putting your back against the wall, scooting your butt down. You want your knees to be, you know, over that second toe. Our back is pressed into the wall and we got an about 90 degree angle in our knees and our hips, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the quads, squeezing the core. You can either hold your arms out in front or to the side. Try not to push against those legs. We want to really get the most out of that. And then with that, so we're doing that for 40 seconds. And for the 20 seconds, we're going to do walking lunges. So same thing as normal lunges, but we're stepping forward and then we're going to squeeze through the glute and continue on forward. So if you don't have that much room, that's okay. You can go and turn around and walk back the direction you came. So that's what we're going to be doing there. And then we are going to be um, doing push-ups but these are gonna be incline push-ups. So that's where if you have a couch or something you can put your hands on, that's what we're gonna be doing that. So we're gonna do incline push-ups here. So we're gonna have our hands elevated, bringing our chest towards the couch or chair, pushing up, and then we're gonna do some shoulder taps here. So tapping each shoulder um, one time. And if you don't have anything like that, you can go on the wall, same thing. You're just pushing against the wall and pressing back up. So we're doing that. And then for 20 seconds, we're gonna do walking lunges. So you're gonna sense a pattern here. We're gonna do one movement and then walking lunges. So actually Luis already put everything in the chat for us. So you can see that there's lots of walking lunges today. And then after that, we're gonna do three second eccentric squats. So feet shoulders apart, lowering ourselves. One, two, three, then exploding back up. One, two, three, exploding up. So we're gonna do that and then walking lunges. And then we're going to get on the ground for plank rotation. So we're going to be in a high plank position here. And we're going to twist, opening up towards the ceiling, back down, open up with the other hand and back down. You can do these from your knees. Same thing, opening up towards the ceiling. And then we're going to, again, do walking lunges after that. And then we're going to go ahead and do some curtsy lunges. And we're going to do those alternating. So stepping back in diagonal. And then to the other side, just like that, hips forward, using that front foot, and then walking lunges. And then the final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some dead bugs here. So arms in the air, knees in the air, extending off to the arm, off to the leg, coming back to center. And then for 20 seconds, we're just gonna hold here. So we're gonna do five rounds of walking lunges, and then the last one's gonna be the dead bug hold. So that is what we have on the plan for today. So we'll go ahead and get started. We are doing that three rounds through and we're gonna go ahead and get started with the warm up here. So we're gonna start on, uh, yeah, well, we're gonna start with the world's greatest stretch. So we're actually gonna start at the top, top of our space. Nice big deep breath. 
And we're going to scoop up our right knee, pull it towards our chest. And on the next exhale, stepping back into a reverse lunge, both our hands on the inside of that front leg. Back leg nice and straight on the next exhale, bringing our left arm up towards the ceiling. Nice big deep breath, getting some rotation through the spine, getting ready for those plank rotations. And we're gonna place a hand on the outside of that front foot, push up into a hamstring stretch. And on the next exhale, bring in the right foot next to the left foot. We're gonna stand on up. Wonderful. Same thing now on the other side. So I'm gonna interlace my fingers, scoop up my left knee, pull it towards my chest. And on our exhale, stepping back into a reverse lunge, leg nice and straight, hands onto the inside of that front foot. While keeping that back leg nice and straight, rotating, opening up towards the ceiling with that right hand, gazing past our thumb, getting a nice rotation here throughout the whole spine, keeping that back leg nice and flat. And exhaling, placing that hand on the outside of the front foot, pushing ourselves up into a hamstring stretch. And exhaling, bringing the left foot next to the right foot. We're gonna stand on up. Awesome. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get on the ground into a half kneeling position. We're gonna get our hips nice and ready for all the wall sits and lunges we're about to do. So we're gonna do a hip flexor hamstring real quick. We're gonna do it three times on each side. So getting down into a half kneeling, we're gonna tuck our pelvis, keep the core tight, squeeze the glute of the knee that's on the ground, push those hips forward. Raise that same arm overhead of the knee that's on the ground. Big inhale and on the exhale, rocking back into that hamstring stretch. Trying to get our body as close to the knee as we can. And on our next exhale, going back to hip flexor. So pushing those hips forward, squeezing the glute of the knee that's on the ground. Core is tight. And exhaling into the hip, the hamstring stretch. And we're going to go ahead now and switch over to the other side. Sorry, I said three. I really meant two. <laughs> we're switching over to the other side now. So left knee's on the ground, right foot on the ground. Tugging the pelvis, core tight, squeezing the glute of the knee that's on the ground, pushing those hips forward, reaching our arm overhead. Feeling that stretch to the front of the hip. And rocking back on the next exhale into that hamstring stretch. And one more hip flexor, push those hips forward, squeeze the glute of the knee that's on the ground, reach in the hand overhead, core is nice and tight. And exhaling, bringing our body back and then straightening up our toes towards the ceiling, getting that stretch through the back of the hamstring. And we can go ahead and release from there. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So 40 seconds of the first exercise, 20 seconds of walking lunges. I'm just gonna say that now because we all know. And we're getting started with our wall sit. So getting ready on the wall. I'm gonna start the timer here. And if you don't have a wall, sorry, I forgot to say this earlier. If you don't have a wall to use, you can always just hold at the bottom of your squat if you don't have any wall space. So starting off with our wall sit here in three, two, one, and go. So about 40 seconds. We're getting our knees, our thighs here, our uh, femurs are gonna be roughly parallel with the ground. Our core is gonna be tight, so our low back is plastered into the wall. So push that belly button towards the wall, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads. We're gonna start to feel a little burn here, but that's good. We're getting some nice isometric movement here. By movement, we're really not moving, but we're holding it. Great job, you guys. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. We're almost there. Three, two, one. We're standing up. Oh, my hair just got stuck. And now we're going to do walking lunges. So wherever the space that you have, if you only can go once on each leg, that's okay. Just turn around and come back the way you came. We have our incline push-ups with the shoulder tap next. Three, two, one. So again, with this, you can either use the wall or a couch or a chair, anything that is sturdy that is going to bring your upper body closer. So this will help us work a little bit more on our chest strength 
and it's going to give us the ability to work as if we're doing a full push-up. So this is the next step from eccentric only push-ups, which if you were in David's class that I subbed for him on Monday, we did a lot of those. <laughs> great job, you guys. Keep pushing. Doing great. Three, two, one. We're doing walking lunges. So we're stepping. We don't want to step out too far. We still want to let that knee track past our second toe. We don't want to be stepping wide here. We want that chest forward, just like our regular lunges. We got three second eccentric squats. Three, two, one. Nice and slow. One, two, three. Squeeze, loose, and come back up. So like I said, <laughs> we're doing a lot of leg stuff today. We're doing some isometrics. We're doing eccentrics. We're doing all of it. Building up our leg strength today. Make sure that core is nice and tight. We're going as slow as we can, exploding through to the top. Core is tight, our back is flat. Count to three as slowly as you can. We got time for one more here. Three, two, one. All right, walking lunges. And then next we have our plank rotation. So, and if you don't have room to do walking lunges, you can always do reverse lunges or forward lunges, just stationary. All right, plank rotations, three, two, one. So we can either be on our hands and toes or on our knees. We don't have to go super quickly through this, but we wanna make sure that our hands are below our shoulders, core is tight, we want to be in a straight line, head, hips, and toes when we're in that plank position. Don't forget to breathe here. We don't have to rush this. We got time. Try and do quality over quantity. Three, two, one. All right. Walking lunges. Lots of lunges here. We got curtsy lunges coming up next. We're gonna alternate between the feet. Sorry, I keep walking away from the camera. Great job, you guys. Curtsy lunges, three, two, one. We're alternating sides, stepping back and diagonally. Keeping those hips as if you have headlights. Blind me in the camera here with those headlights here. At any point in time, definitely grab a drink, a sip of water if you need it. It's always important to stay hydrated here, especially when we're getting nice and sweaty. Great job, you guys. We got walking lunges after this, and then we're going into those dead bugs and a dead bug hold. Three, two, one. All right, last set of walking lunges here. And then we got the hold next after our dead bugs. And then we're starting right back at the top. We got two more rounds to go. Great job getting on the ground, getting ready here. Three, two, one. All right, dead bugs here. Plaster that low back into the ground. Exhale as we come up. Crush that apple with our core as we bring the leg back into that center starting position. Want to make sure that the knees are over the hips. We don't want the knees in, we want them out to make sure that core is being engaged. If you were in my class this morning, we did a lot of dead bugs and we already did a lot of lunges. So our legs are gonna be super good tomorrow. We're holding here in three, two, one. So we're just holding that dead bug position. So Belly button towards the floor, knees over the hips. Crush that apple. Make sure we're not using our hip flexors to hold our legs up. Use the core. All right, wall sit. Three, two, one. We're hopping up, getting to the wall. Holding the wall sit here. Parallel thighs with the ground. Let those knees come forward a little bit. Don't forget to breathe. 
push your low back into the ground. And by the ground, I mean the wall. Great job, you guys. Keep breathing, keep holding. And now it's starting to burn, but we're almost there. We only got one more after this one. We got lunges in three, two, one. All right, coming up, walking lunges. Let that knee track past our second toe, squeeze the glutes, come back up. These are gonna get harder as we do them. We got incline push-ups. You can either use the wall, the couch, whatever's most comfortable. Three, two, one. Don't forget to tap each shoulder as we come up. We want our pelvis tucked, our core nice and tight. Elbows are staying as close to our body as we can. Oh man, my chest is sore today. Great job, y'all. Keep pushing. Push that couch away from you or the wall, whatever you're using today. Our push-ups are just gonna be so good. After this, we're gonna be ready to go for Luis's class next week. Three, two, one. Reverse, or not reverse, walking lunges, sorry. My bad, walking lunges here. Push that ground away from you. Heel big toe, little toe. We have the three second eccentric squats coming up next. Oh, we're going, sorry, go. Squats, nice and slow. So I guess what's not good about walking away from the camera when we're lunging or the timer is that sometimes, as you guys, you all know me, sometimes I forget to look at the timer because I'm talking to you. And then I'm like, oh, whoops. But I'm getting better at it, I promise. Pushing the ground away from us. Heel big toe, little toe, nice and slow on to the bottom here. We got time for one more here. Three, two, one, and lunges. Up next, we got those plank rotations. So we'll be getting on the ground for that. Next. Pushing the ground away from us. Great job, you guys. Keep lunging. Use those legs, plank rotations. Three, two, one, hands below the shoulders, exhaling, rotating, bringing the opposite hand towards the ceiling. Great job, you guys. Doing great. Keeping that straight line from shoulders, hips, and toes. You guys are doing great. Keep pushing. We got walking lunges. And then we got curtsy lunges. And then walking lunges. And then our dead bugs. Three, two, one. Great job, walking lunges. You guys are not gonna like lunges after today. And neither am I. But great job, keep pushing. Use this as your rest period. Try and get your breathing to come down if you're breathing heavy. Oh, sorry. Um, we're doing curtsy lunges. So we're alternating here. Curtsy lunges, keeping those hips forward. If we open up here, so if we have our hips facing out, we're not gonna feel that in the glutes. So turn your hips towards the camera. All that focus is in the glutes here. Great job, you guys. We have walking lunges, dead bugs, then a dead bug hold. And then we got one more round to go. Keep pushing, three, two, one. Walking lunges. And then we got dead bugs. Great job, you guys. Squeeze those glutes. Let that knee track past the second toe. Whole foot on the ground. Three, two, one, dead bugs. Great job, you guys. Exhale, bring those knees right back over the hips, pushing the belly button into the ground. 
This is almost like a rest period for our legs a little bit. Great job, you guys. Crush that apple with your core. Doing great, almost there. We're gonna hold here in three, two, one. Holding that dub up position, we got this 20 seconds. We're hopping up onto wall sits and walking lunges. So one more round to go and then we'll cool down and be able to go enjoy some lunch and have a great rest of the day. Three, two, one, we're getting up onto our wall sits. Legs, we want our knees and our hips at 90 degrees here, pushing that spine, push your belly button into the wall. By pushing that belly button into the wall, we're activating our core, we're taking that pressure off of our low back. It's gonna be harder, you're gonna feel more in your quads, but that's what we want, right? We don't wanna feel this in our back. Our quad muscles are a lot stronger. We have four of them versus the tiny muscles that are behind our spine. So we want that load to be in the legs here, Try not to place your hands on your legs. Three, two, one. Awesome job. We finished our wall sits, walking lunges. Ooh, my legs are a little jello-y. We got a little baby deer. Has anyone seen Bambi? Oh yeah, Bambi's right here. Great job, you guys. We got push-ups with that shoulder tap. Coming up next, three, two, one. On the couch, on the wall. Pushing down, tapping each shoulder at the top. Take your time here. Again, quality over quantity. We don't have to hit a certain amount of reps. I just want everyone to focus on squeezing through the chest. So the more we can focus on our hands starting here and pushing up and together and back down, that's where that chest engagement and contraction is going to come from. So really bring our hands away from each other and then push them together. Oh, sorry, walking lunges. Sorry, I keep getting caught up in talking to you guys. I keep forgetting to look at the time. Great job. Up next, three second eccentric squats. I'm not gonna take my eyes off the clock here. Three, two, one. All right, nice and slow here to the bottom squeezing those glutes. We want our feet to be about hip width apart, letting the knees track past our toe, nice and slow onto the bottom here, squeezing those glutes as we come up. Great job, keep pushing. We got walking lunges after this. And then we got our plank, rotations and then we're going to do more walking lunges and then we got curtsy lunges three two one walking lunges here squeeze those glutes keep that core tight back nice and flat plank rotations are next three two one all right, shoulders right above the hands, exhaling, opening up. We are following our hands with our eyes. So we're, the more we can rotate and open up, keeping our shoulders in line with each other, chest is open. We don't wanna be here. We don't want that shoulder forward. We want that shoulder up towards the ceiling. Using our core. Great job, you guys. We are almost there. We are walking lunges coming up next. And then we're doing curtsy lunges. Three, two, one. All right, walking lunges. Great job. Don't forget to breathe. Keep that core tight. Our chest is directly above the arch of our front foot. All that weight in the front foot here. We got curtsy lunges in three, two, one, stepping back and behind, squeezing through the glutes, hips are forward. And just like with those walking lunges and reverse lunges, any lunges we do, our chest is directly over the arch 
of the front foot. Knees going out past that second toe. That's how we're getting all that glute engagement. All right, after this, we're gonna do walking lunges. And then we got dead bugs and a dead bug hold. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a quick cool down. And we'll be on our way. Three, two, one. All right, last thing of walking lunges. And then we got dead bugs and dead bug hold. Great job, you guys. Feel the burn. The legs are tired. We're almost there. Finish strong. Three, two, one. On our backs for dead bugs. Last thing we're doing today, low back on the ground. Exhaling, bringing that knee back. Crush that apple with your core, knees above the hips. We don't want the knees here. We want them out. It's going to help us with that core engagement. Okay, we're almost there. We're doing great. Push here. Three, two, one. We're holding. This is like a nice rest here. Knees out above those hips. Low back plastered in the ground. Keep breathing. We are almost there. Three, two, one. Go ahead and relax. Whew. Great job today, everyone. I know that was a lot of quad work, a lot of hips. We did awesome. Grab a sip of water. And for our cool down, we're going to make our way onto the ground. For my favorite stretch, we're going to do a little bit of bretzel here. So we're going to open up the chest after those push-ups, get our hips opened up, and we're going to do it on each side. So I'm going to start on my left side here. I'm going to bring my, my left leg is going to be straight out. My right leg is going to come up and over across my body, knee and ankle on the ground. My bottom hand, so my left hand, goes onto my right knee here. My top hand, which is my right hand, is going to grab my left leg at the foot or ankle. And if you can't reach there, that's totally okay. Go ahead and grab a towel, something that you can hook around your ankle and hold on to, but we're grabbing that foot or ankle. And we're gonna inhale to prepare. And on our exhale, we're gonna open up, trying to get both our shoulders on the ground here. So we're getting some rotation through the spine. We're breathing into the chest, feeling our chest open up here. And we're getting a nice quad stretch through the bottom leg. So we're breathing nice and deep here. Relaxing with each exhale. Slowing our breathing down, letting our heart rate come down, stretching out our total body here. Go ahead and do one more big inhale. And slowly exhale. We can go ahead and release the bottom leg. And we're gonna go ahead and flip over now to the right side. So you can just turn a little bit. I'm gonna flip over all the way. And same thing now. So we're on the right side. My top leg or my left leg now is gonna come across my body, knee and ankle on the ground. Bottom hand on top of that knee. So my right hand is on my left knee. My right leg is nice and straight here. I'm going to take my top hand, grab onto my ankle or foot, and we're gonna inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, we're gonna lay that bottom shoulder on the ground. And you know, it's totally okay if you can't reach that, that um, shoulder. We just wanna relax our body with each exhale. And we're gonna try and get a little bit closer with each exhale and also we'll get a little closer each time we do this stretch. So inhaling nice and deep here, exhaling, relaxing all of our muscles, releasing any tension.
And let's go ahead and do one more big inhale here. Slowly exhale. We're gonna gently let go of that bottom leg and you can roll over onto your stomach to the hands and knees and you can return to seated kneeling or standing. But that is gonna be all the time I have for today. Great job, everyone. Thank you all for joining me. That was a tough one. A lot of leg stuff, like I said, um, but you guys all did awesome. I hope you're all feeling nice and strong after that workout. Um, we do have one more stretch break today at 2.30 with Luis, so don't miss out on that. He'll definitely help stretch us out after all those leg stuff. And then we do have as and core later with Brittany and some mobility work too, Brittany. So don't miss out on that either. Um, you can find all of our classes up on SharePoint. So let us know if you have any questions on anything, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Thank you.